It's no secret that Japan is home to the finest ramen and sushi in the world. However, there's much more to Japanese cuisine than these famous offerings. While this list only scratches the surface, here are five key Japanese foods beyond sushi and ramen that might tickle your culinary curiosities. While sushi undoubtedly stands as a pinnacle of Japan's seafood cuisine, the country equally prides itself on a rich meat culture. Yaki niku, which combines yaki and niku, illustrates Japan's distinctive flair for grilling. Each selection is meticulously chosen, ensuring a taste experience characterized by deep, nuanced flavors. Yakiniku is also known for its smaller, thoughtfully cut pieces, promoting a dining experience filled with diverse textures and flavors. This culinary style is adaptable, accommodating a wide spectrum of preferences and budgets. Choices span from accessible, yet quality selections, to the luxurious indulgence of Wagyu beef. Wagyu is renowned for its exceptional marbling, tenderness, and deep flavor profile. Within the spectrum of Wagyu, the A5 grade occupies the highest echelon, notable for its superior marbling that provides a richness and softness that essentially melts in your mouth. Opting for A5 means you're about to enjoy beef that embodies the pinnacle of flavor and tenderness. Yet, the allure of Yakiniku extends beyond the realm of the expensive. It doesn't have to be A5 to be excellent. Many restaurants offer diverse and delicious menus at all price points, including the affordable. Additionally, the high heat of the grill caramelizes the meats, enhancing their natural flavors and creating a succulent taste experience even with more affordable cuts. Ultimately, there's bound to be yakiniku options to please any meat lover's palate. Next up, we delve into curry rice, a simple yet deeply satisfying dish of piping hot curry served over fresh, warm Japanese rice. This particular version stands out for its thicker, sweeter and milder flavour compared to the traditional Indian curry, making it a versatile and accessible favourite across many palates. Over time, it's become a staple in Japanese households, thus being associated as a comfort food to many. This particular unassuming shop underneath Tokyo Station represents everything that's great about this meal. Quick, accessible, affordable, and disproportionately delicious. Where else can you find a freshly cooked, piping hot, stomach filling, and deeply satisfying meal for under five US dollars? In addition to affordability, the dish's adaptability is another highlight. Whether it's topped with tonkatsu, chicken, vegetables, fried shrimp, or any of the other countless options, diners have the freedom to customize their curry rice to their own tastes. Among these, tonkatsu, a crispy breaded pork cutlet, emerges as one of the most common and beloved toppings. Its crunchy exterior and tender meat offer a delightful contrast to the curry's rich and smooth texture. To complete the experience, pickled vegetables are often served alongside, providing a tangy contrast that accents and enhances the rich, savory flavors of the curry and meat. Ultimately, curry rice embodies the essence of Japanese comfort food. Simple, affordable, and utterly delicious, with a warmth that evokes both satisfaction and delight. Next, we have udon and soba. These dishes represent the lighter aspects of Japanese cuisine, providing satisfying yet less salty and intense noodle alternatives to ramen. Udon features thick, satisfyingly chewy noodles made from wheat, flour, water, and salt. The simplicity in ingredients belies the skill required to achieve its perfect texture, which is characterized by a uniquely silky yet elastic chewiness. The depth of udon's flavor comes from the kakajiru broth, a blend of dashi, soy sauce, and mirin that provides a rich but balanced umami. Toppings like crispy tempura add a delightful textural contrast and allow for all sorts of customization. And when it comes to tempura, there's a truly dizzying and delightful array of options to diversify your meal. Common offerings include seafood, vegetables, and mixed ingredient fritters called kakyoge. On top of tempura, aromatic additions like ginger and green onions add fresh and fragrant dimensions to the meal. Meanwhile, soba consists of slender buckwheat flour noodles known for their nutty flavor and firmer texture. The broth, while also dashi based, tends to have a lighter, more nuanced flavor, often with a slightly stronger emphasis on the soy sauce. 
A delightful variant that becomes especially popular during the summer is Zaru Soba. These noodles are served chilled on a bamboo mat, encouraging a tactile eating experience where they're dipped into a more concentrated, savoury and oftentimes sweet version of the broth called tsuyu. This dipping ritual, combined with the nutty flavour of the buckwheat, offers a culinary refreshment that's both simple and profoundly satisfying. Accompaniments like wasabi and green onions allow for added flavour nuance through accents of sharpness and spice. And now we have yakitori, which directly translates to grilled chicken. But yakitori isn't just about grilling chicken, it's about exploring its full potential. Yakitori showcases a complexity and flavour that challenges the notion of chicken as a simple fare. Each piece is carefully seasoned and meticulously cooked, revealing the subtle nuances of taste and texture that chicken has to offer. From the juicy, savoury thigh meat to the irresistibly crispy skin, each skewer is prepared with a level of care and precision that elevates chicken to a gourmet experience. Yakitori preparation typically comes with two choices, salt or tare. Opting for salt allows the natural flavors of the chicken to shine, while tare sauce, a blend of soy sauce, sake, sugar, and mirin, envelops the skewers in a rich, savory, sweet glaze. Wasabi is also commonly provided, allowing for the addition of a sharp and spicy kick to complement the smoky, savory flavors. Yakitori's appeal extends beyond the food itself. The process of selecting and sharing these skewers amongst friends or family at an izakaya encapsulates the communal essence of Japanese dining culture. It's an invitation to engage with the food, the people and the moment, making yakitori a dish that is as much about togetherness as it is about taste. And now we have our last category. Amidst a culinary scene rich with meat, rice and noodles, a common conundrum arises. Where exactly is one to find vegetables? Shabu Shabu and Sukiyaki provide an excellent answer, not just incorporating vegetables, but emphasizing them as fresh and integral components. At its core, Shabu Shabu consists of thinly sliced meats, which diners swish back and forth in a pot of lightly flavored broth. Shabu Shabu gets its name from the sound of this swishing action. This method cooks quickly, but ensures the meat remains tender and succulent, capturing the essence of its flavor. The broth used in Shabu Shabu is typically a clear, light broth known as dashi, which is made from simmering ingredients such as kombu and katsuobushi. This creates a broth that is rich in umami, providing a subtle yet deeply flavorful base that complements the natural tastes of the meat and vegetables without overpowering them. The simplicity of dashi allows the fresh ingredients of shabu shabu to shine, enhancing the overall dining experience with its delicate balance of flavors. Sukiyaki, on the other hand, offers a richer flavor profile. It involves simmering thinly sliced beef in a sweet and savory sauce made from soy sauce, sugar, and mirin. After the beef is cooked, it's dipped in raw egg, which add a creamy texture and richness to the dish. Sukiyaki is often enjoyed with vegetables, tofu, and noodles, cooked together in the same pot, absorbing the flavorful sauce. Vegetables play a starring role in both of these with all sorts of leafy greens, mushrooms, tofu, the list goes on. These ingredients aren't just add-ons but essentials, offering a fresh counterpoint to the meat and enriching the broth with their own flavours as the meal progresses. After cooking, both meat and vegetables are often dipped in an assortment of sauces, adding depth and variety to each bite. On top of the countless sauce pairings, certain shabu shabu restaurants like this one have multiple broths to choose from, resulting in a dining experience where the possibilities are endless. All in all, shabu shabu is a great choice to experience Japan's exceptional produce quality, where the freshness and flavors of vegetables are brought to the forefront. And that wraps up this quick little list. Again, this is by no means exhaustive and merely scratches the surface of Japan's deep, rich culinary landscape. Though I hope this can help as a reference point for your own adventures through the wonderfully delicious world of Japanese food. In the meantime, I'll be sure to report back with my own additional findings. Until then, wishing you the tastiest of travels. Cheers.